in this series, my brother and I will be playing in a best of one format with all cards unlimited up to OP04. The kicker is that we will be spinning a wheel each episode to determine which leader our deck will be built around, who will take the helm of their ship and pilot it to victory. This is the One Piece Captain's Wheel. What's going on, y'all? It's Gum Gum TCG here, and we're back with another episode of Captain's Wheel. That's right, and if you see the screen, we actually are going to be talking about something we mentioned at the end of the last episode, and that's going to be the Captain's Wheel ban list. How are you feeling about this, man? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I, You know, personally, I, I kind of think there's just one card that needs to be addressed on the in the card pool. Um, yeah. And I mean, without beating around the bush, it's 10 drop mom um, in, a, yeah, in yeah. a sealed format like this, you know, where we're spinning leaders. And if you happen to spin big mom, you get to play the most busted card in the format. That's just not something that we want to continue to see. So exactly. Um, that's why we're addressing it today. So, yeah. Yeah. Especially if you spin like if you just spin a big mom pirate leader against like I spin purple shanks, you know, like it's just going to be a blowout. I mean, for sure. Um, and uh, there is one other card on here. So we did address the Charlotte Linlin. Y'all should know what this card does by now. Um, it just creates a ridiculous amount of advantage. And like we mentioned in this format where one of us could spin a uh, Big Mom Pirate Leader and the other one spins a really shitty deck, uh, this card is really overpowered. And uh, that's why we're gonna go ahead and give the boot to Big Mom. Uh, but the other card I have in here is the Blue Kabaji. Now this card only really sees the play in Nami. However, it, it i mean we saw it when you got to play nami it's just so strong it's a win you button. know it's a it, win it, button essentially yeah it just gets you to draw so much extra and then when you combine it with zeph overheat things like that and you can do it multiple times in a turn uh paired with kaya your other mill cards i mean it just makes nami so much stronger and uh that's why we have to get rid of this card as well you know i guess you could play it in some other decks too but it's mainly for nami so uh, we're just going to get rid of this card as well, but that's going to be it for today's ban list. How are you feeling about this week, man? Are you ready to spin something cool? Man, I'm ready to spin. I, I, uh, have been kind of t flirting with a bunch of different things on the sim, just testing some different colors that I haven't played before Flirt. and trying to, uh, trying to be more prepared for this series. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Gross. Flirting with the leaders. Um, man. Calm down, man. I'm flirting with them, especially <laughs> Yamato. Sheesh. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, I say let's go ahead and get into it. All right, man. I'll holler back at you. All right, let's get let's get it. All right, guys. So, uh, what is this week seven that we're on? Uh, week six or seven, something like that. Um, that being said, I'm I'm really pumped to spend this week. Uh, we took the took the dub on Jacob last week with uh, Katakuri beating his green red Luffy deck. So I'm hoping to kind of just have a repeat performance of last week, get this win streak up, just bury the man in dubs. So let's see what we spin here. Let's see. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Oh, oh. Black Sakazuki? Okay. All right, y'all. We got the wheel pulled up here, and we need something broken. We need something really strong so that we can get that W today. Um, last week, it was just, like I said, kind of a blowout. I had that underwhelming Luffy leader. You know, it can be good. It, it can be good, but uh, against the yellow, I mean, it was just kind of over from the start. I had four life to his five. He has access to 10 drop. Eh. It was a it was an uphill battle for sure so let's go ahead and give this thing a couple spins and like i said let's try and get something to blow him out the water come on give me something good give me something good oh oh no oh no we got purple shanks i just talked about this i shouldn't have said anything oh i done cursed myself all right, I don't even know what this leader does. I know it does some stuff with film cards, but uh, I guess we're going to have to get in there and take a good look at these film cards because I don't know what half of them do. Let's get into deck building. 
All right, guys, so we're back in the deck editor here. Um, we spun Black Sakazuki. Uh, this leader is from the structure decks when Black was first released. Um, it came out in OPO2, and sh I believe shortly after these structure decks uh, were released, the Black Sakazuki, um, to kind of give you some more cards to play with in the Black card pool. Um, this deck does what every black deck tries to do. Um, it tries to establish a way to reduce cost on your opponent's characters and then remove them without having to attack them by battle. Um, so, you know, we're definitely playing things like Sakazuki, Kuzan, we're playing a lot of Navy cards. So, um, I think a good place to start for this is just starting out with Navy. Um, just throwing that in here and seeing what comes up uh if you're playing a navy deck you're playing the admirals don't 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 at me in my squad look at these boys sakazuki borsalino where's kuzan at where's he at oh there's the man uh the big reducer himself uh these guys just are staples in any black navy build it's it's almost a must borsalino not being able to be ko'd uh 6k blocker on your opponent's turn sakazuki pitch something pop a five or less and then kuzan making that five or less much more accessible even if you're staring down big bodies um these are these are really good um what else we're going to play uh i always like to you guys hear me talk about deck building a lot i always like to round my 2ks out first so let's get our 2ks we're gonna have uh suru we're going to have uh where's where is she at tashigi uh, more cost reduction and we are going to have, da, 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 da. are there any black 2Ks that aren't Navy that are worth looking at? Let's see, C2000. Um, Bartolomeo is a really good card. It's a blocker or a 2K. Let's throw that in there for now, just to have something to talk about. Um, so with this leader, uh, you can pop a cost of zero so we have to do a lot of reduction for him to actually do what he's supposed to do um so i do think 10 drop kuzan is going to be our win condition here so let's put a couple copies of him in here um i mean we could look at the isho but i just feel like if you're gonna play a big boss monster kuzan to me is just better um so we're gonna roll with that um we're definitely gonna play probably four of kobe because uh, kobe's just like mini sakazuki um we need some good we got two sets of blockers so far um do we want more blockers we might it really depends on what jacob spins but um another crazy card is garp Garp is a crazy card. Um, we'll say no to Garp for right now, but we are absolutely going to tech in some Ice Age. I don't understand why this card isn't played more. Um, this card is insane. Uh, minus five cost for one Dawn. Like, I mean, that just turns our leader on for five and under yeah, instantly. So um, really strong there. We're definitely gonna play old brand new as well. We gotta play the Searcher. We gotta play the searcher um that leaves us 11 slots to fill in here so we've got some kind of mid-range bodies with borsalino with kuzan with sakazuki we got our top end with big kuzan we got our 2ks our searcher we got some reduction with ice age let's get a counter event in here um let's make it navy uh, it's probably just shockwave yeah, it's just Shockwave. Let's play Shockwaves. Um, that's pretty good. Um, what else do you like to see in a black deck? Maybe. We could play a couple chump blockers in Rosinante. If he doesn't have a way to deal with them, this is a pretty oppressive card. Uh, just being a blocker for little to no dawn. Um, 
And you know that Kobe that came out of the newer black structure deck, the Luffy one? This card's kind of cool too, because if we have a Kuzan, we can pop a six or less. If we have this Kuzan, we can pop a seven or less. Um, if we have Ice Age, this becomes a really deadly combo. So we may throw a couple of him in here. Um, and then I think maybe we might just want some more bodies that have 1k counter. And I think Sengoku is a really good uh, card to pick for that. Because he gives us reduction as well as a body. So yeah, I mean... I built this fast. I could be missing something pretty important, but this seems solid to me. Um, I do think I'm gonna cut Kobe for this Kobe so that we're on three and three. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is looking all right to me. Uh, let's save and let's hop back over with Jacob and see where we go from here. All right, y'all, we got the leader queued up here and all I know about this leader is it gets trash talked all the time for being bad and um, Yeah, let's go ahead and look at this effect because I, I, I don't even really know what it does It says activate main once per turn dawn minus three your film type characters gain 2,000 power during this turn Honestly, that doesn't seem too bad, but I, uh, Obviously, we want to go very heavy into the film build with this. So uh, yeah, let's just start deck building. I'm going to type film in here so we can get a good idea of what we're working with. Uh, we're going to play Douglas Bullet. This is going to be our... Well, that's not Douglas Bullet. Uh, we're going to play Douglas Bullet. This is going to be kind of our... It's going to be our top end. This card's insanely strong. Uh, Buena Festa is also really strong. Uh, we're going to play Shiki because we need that 2k. Uh, Buena Festa is also a 2k, but we're going to mainly use him for searching. We're going to have to throw another 2k in here. Uh, we need to play the Uta. I know this is just another chump blocker, so I'm going to put that in there. I think we should also play Ramp Uta just to uh, help us ramp. I mean, this deck goes minus Dawn a lot, and we need a way to do that. We don't have an island in this deck, so something to get us to ramp is definitely going to be helpful. Uh, I think we can go outside of the film package too. You know, like these cards aren't amazing, but um, I don't think they're bad either. Um, Guild to Soros is actually pretty good. We've been seeing him pop up in Doflamingo list. There's a reason for that too. Uh, I think we are going to play Union Arbato. This card's uh, pretty strong actually. And uh, it's definitely better than Lion's Threat. So we're going to play that. What does this do? This KO's a 5 or less. Yeah, this, this is really bad. Um, uh, let's read the Z2. If this character battles a Strike Attribute character, it gains 3k during this turn. That's not bad. Activate main once per turn, dawn minus one. This character gains 2,000 power during this turn. That's not bad either. I'm going to toss him in here too. We're going to cut him down as well as the bullet. Don't want too many of them in here. Uh, like I said, I think we don't have any more 2Ks other than Festa and Shiki. This Douglas bullet is not bad either. I might play a couple of him. Uh, I might play two of this Uta because this could be really powerful if we get this to hit and stick the board. Um, but let's take a look at some other cards. Let's get another 2k in here um, we, we just need something else strong 2k wise. We're gonna play Khalifa. Khalifa is uh, really strong and um, If this sticks the board we can get good advantage and it's also a, a, just a nice 2k I think we should also play Queen because we need a good blocker that we can cycle cards with uh, but right now, I mean, we're just so top heavy right now and we don't have a way to ramp early. Let me think, is there a way to ramp early? We could play Sasaki, that's not bad. We could ramp on turn two with Sasaki. Uh, Jack ramps too, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, trash a card to ramp one. Um, I don't think that's awful. We might have to just so we can get some extra ramp in here. I'm gonna throw them in there just just see what we can't do i think we're also gonna play jet gatling because we are playing a bunch of cards that don't have counters like way too many that don't have counters so i'm gonna try and find some room for this give me just a second all right so i cut a couple things down here uh like i said we're just on like five cost and up bodies which is kind of not what we really want uh our goal here is to drop buena festa the first turn 
to get a search and hopefully find one of our uh, top ends or something to get us some better advantage. This Uta blocker is actually really huge for us. This card's really strong. Uh, with Buena Festa, we might also want to see our Uta ramp so that we can, like I said, get on course and get that ramp going. Um, we also want to see Jack. I'm going to try and fit another Jack in here. Uh, I think I also want to fit another Uta in here just so that we're at four of this and four of this so we can get to our ramp faster. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is kind of what the deck's going to be looking like, y'all. I, honestly, I, I think we're going to have a rough one this week. And uh, I think we're going to get laughed at when we queue up. Uh, I think I'm going to cut out a Union for another Jack. And then I'm going to cut out another Z for another Uta. Because, like I said, we want to get to that ramp. And honestly, y'all, I think this is going to be the deck list. I'm not excited about it. I'm not looking forward to it. However... Uh, if we're lucky, we might be able to take them down. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, man. Are you ready for, uh, this game? Let's get into it, man. Uh, I'm kind of scared to see what you spun, to be honest, because, uh, you don't sound too excited, but you could be bluffing. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know, man. I got something pretty scary what? for you. What? Purple Shanks? Get out of here, dude. All right, Sakazuki. <sighs> Yeah, this is Battle of the Weak Leaders right here. <laughs> it really is. Battle of the Weak Structure Deck Leaders. Um, I win the die roll. As a black deck, I'm going to go second. Um, Oof, not keep it. That's better. Uh, I think I will keep this hand. He's going to keep. He is going to make me go first, and I am going to pass. All right. Keep it fast and simple for you, fella. I'm gonna throw down a brand new, grab a Kobe, and throw it back to you. Grabs the Kobe. Pops a two or less. I do be doing that. Well, I got something surprising for you. Ooh, a big eight to the face. We'll take it. That's right. We'll take it. Uh, let's see, Ford on. Um, yeah, I mean, swing five. Take it. Establish that Kobe. Establishes the Kobe. Hmm, five dawn here. If you want to use a bullet to rest it and KO it or something, you're more than welcome Never. to. Why would I do such a thing? Uh, you don't know what I'm playing. Swing one K. I'll give you the Sengoku. Bros on bigger Kuzon. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna ramp. Yep. Draw a card, draw a dawn. Alright. Um, Show me Marine Ford. Don't seem all that bad. Uh, we're gonna just poke you first. See what happens. Uh, we'll take. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to do this fella. Do this. He's a big fella. Pop in that Uta. Get it out of here. Pass it back to you. Seems pretty good. Um. Hmm. Well, let me see what I can find. Yeah. We'll bring a fest action. A little top five searcher action. Yeah, nothing crazy. Where's the Ash Blossom? Ash Blossom, the quarter century rare? <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't really have anything crazy for you, man. I wish I did have something a little better. This is what Shanks players be saying most of the time. Sorry, Shanks yeah. players. Um, let's go. One. We'll attack for six. Swing six. I'll take it. Um, no trigger. Go. Uta. Uta. Cool. Um... 
let let me address that Uta real quick. Wow, Bird's just gonna have all the answers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, trying to figure how this one would go. Um, uh, poke six seven. Do you have anything that could punish me if I attack with leader first? Uh, I don't know the card pool well enough to to risk it. So Let's take it. Yep. No trigger. Six. I do have a Shiki. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, well, four Dawn in a black deck. You play this guy. Makes sense. Um. Well. Gonna have to get in there somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna rest my Porcelino. Okay. Yeah. Gotta do something. Fine with that. Hmm. Then let's uh let's get some some cards. A queen. Yeah. Get rid of that. You know, I watched your uh, green-purple Dofi deck profile where you released a little while ago, and the point that you made about playing Queen over Tesoro in that list makes a lot of sense now that I think about it, because, like, that Tesoro can just get removed so easily, so... Yeah. Shout out, shout out Jimble Jamble for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you can have the Kobe. Uh, well, I wish I had more. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we do? What do we do? The world is our oyster, they might is say. It? Um, no, actually, it is not. Um, Ten Koskus on. No, I gotta start with this. Um, I'm gonna take that. Sounds about right. I'll take him. And then we can go... What? Try. Let's just see what you do with a seven. Um. Well, I have a gum gum jet gatling. Mm. I love those zero cost events, man. They're so strong. Yeah, they really are. So good. Um. Not a lot I can do to like abuse this situation that you're in. So I think I'm probably just going to put two under brand new, swing with brand new for five. <clears throat> Block it. Sure. Um, let's go. Five again. I got a 1K. Okay. And then let's go deploy Sakazuki, replace brand new, use card action. Let's pitch a shockwave to pop your queen. Should have probably started with that, but we live and we learn. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't start with that. Yeah, I wanted to see if, like, you would use the queen and let it die. <laughs> and then I could take out the bullet, too. But you're better than that, so. No, I gotta... Gotta use it. Yeah, this game's just looking a little rough on my end. Yeah, I mean, if you don't turn this board state around somehow with, like, a 9 Kaido or something right now, like, you're kind of in trouble. Yeah, that's just the thing about purple into black. Like, uh, I've played this matchup, at least, well, not this exact matchup, but I've played Smoker into purple decks so many times, and it's 
honestly a really easy matchup for smoker and navy archetype because purple typically plays like one big body a turn yeah and if black has the the cost reduction and then the removal those big bodies are just i mean it's like i wasted my whole turn you know like i yep. tried to play two last turn but uh thankfully you only got rid of one of them i'm still just i mean i'm really down at card advantage compared to where you are so um we might as well go in for six six at me we'll take this one and then we'll try in for five um I'll counter out of this one. Yep. And then I got a blocker. Yep. Big bullet. Yeah, this dude. This and dude. And that's your go. All right. So we have a blocker to get around. Two life cards. Um... intense battle let's try five with brand new five with brand new. yeah hmm. we'll, we'll take it okay um okay. I'm gonna go play Kobe. Yeah. Pop your blocker. Sure. Um let's go. Seven, I think face. I have the other Jet Gatling. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's go seven at base. I have two two guys. Wow. Okay. Um... Seven. I will take it. Five. Counter. Better have another one. I don't. Wow. Ooh, sheesh. I'd say it was a good game, but it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, about as good as it could be. And like I said, black just kind of screws purple over. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I had. I was hoping you. I had. I was hoping you wouldn't attack with everything that turn. But. Yeah, I had so much removal and like, like I even swung with the brand new before I cleared it for the Kobe. Like it had. Had you blocked with that attack, you may still be alive. I don't know. I'd have to look back at the footage and kind of like see. But uh, I would, because I would have had another. Um, yeah, that's what I'm card. thinking. That's what I'm thinking. And I was like, there's no way he's gonna throw this blocker for a 5k swing from a brand new nonetheless like i yeah i should yeah. have but that being said good game man good game back yeah, in the winner's circle the again bad leaders could be <laughs> winner's circle my ass you always just spend better leaders than me mm -hmm. better mm -hmm. leaders better yeah. leaders yeah uh-huh you know it <laughs> Am uh, I wrong, Katakuri? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I have okay. no clue what you mean. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this week's episode of Captain's Wheel. Um, if you're not subscribed, definitely make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and if I hit that by the end of the year, I'll be giving away a free box of OPO5 to a lucky subscriber here in the U.S., so uh, make sure you're subscribed if you want to enter that giveaway. Also, be sure to join the Discord. I've got a Discord server. We're trying to hit 100 members. And if we hit that here soon, uh, going to be doing a free box tournament. So 
uh, make sure you're in there too. And uh, any last words? Uh, I'm sorry. Did you say free box tournament? Did you say That's free right, box of OPO5? I don't know yep, what y'all are doing. Right. Subscribe. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> but y'all can sleep if you want to. Anyway, thanks so much for watching the video, y'all. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.